Hey everyone, it's Yuto here from SlashyRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make Japanese Christmas cake from scratch. It's a light and fluffy sponge cake topped with whipped cream and strawberries. You might also know it as strawberry shortcake. It's a simple yet elegant cake, great for any celebration. So first, here are a few essential things you will need for this recipe. A 15 cm cake tin, that's 6 inches in diameter. If you have a bigger tin, check the link in the description below. We have a handy conversion guide there. An electric whisk. Okay, it's not essential but it will make your life easier and this recipe a lot faster. A piping bag for decorating, that's for the finishing touches. Okay, so for the sponge cake you will need 3 eggs. 60 grams of caster sugar, half teaspoon of lemon juice, 60 grams of wheat flour, and 20 grams of butter, and a tablespoon of milk. All of the ingredients should be room temperature. I recommend measuring everything out, separating your eggs, and then leaving them out for 30 minutes before you start. Right, first I'm going to line the cake tin. I'm using a tin with a removable base so it's easier to get the sponge out later. It's also easier to draw around it. Add a thin layer of butter and then stick the paper to it. I'm also going to melt my butter now and keep it in a warm place so it's ready for later. 40 seconds in the microwave on a 600 watt setting should be enough. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees celsius or 350 degrees fahrenheit in advance so that the heat is constant. So let's start with the egg whites. Add half a teaspoon of lemon juice and mix. The lemon juice stabilizes the egg whites. Once it's foamy, start adding sugar one third at a time. We want to whisk this meringue until it has firm peaks and light. So these peaks are looking pretty firm and pointy. Now let's add the egg yolks one by one. Use the electric whisk to incorporate them into the mixture. Once it's combined we're going to sift in the flour. I sift it twice before adding it to the eggs. This makes it nice and airy. Add it one third at a time. This will help you incorporate it faster without mixing too much. When you're mixing, be gentle and turn the bowl as you go. If you mix too much, then you lose the air bubbles and the sponge will be dense.
Now let's get the melted butter and add some milk to it. I also add some of the cake batter to the butter before pouring it in. This makes it easier to incorporate it into the rest of the mixture. We want to mix it as little as possible. Finally, we can pour it into the cake tin. Smooth out the top, then drop it twice from about 10 centimeters high. This is to push the air bubbles to the top and stop the cake sinking in the middle or shrinking. Put it straight in the oven and bake for about 20 to 30 minutes. My oven is pretty fast so I took mine out at 23 minutes but every oven is different so keep checking it after 20 minutes and take it out when it looks golden and starts to come away from the edges. But when you check the colour, make sure you don't open the oven door. When it's cooked, take it out and drop it from about 20 centimeters high. Place it on a cooling rack upside down and take it out of the tin. Be careful, it's still hot. If you leave it in the tin, it continues to cook for a bit and we don't want that. Leave the paper on for now. In the meantime, let's make the syrup. For the syrup, you will need 20 grams of caster sugar, 40 milliliters of water, and one tablespoon of liqueur of your choice. I used an orange liqueur called Grand Manier. It's very Christmassy, but if you don't want to use alcohol in your cake, then you can leave it out. So take a small pan and put everything in. Turn on a medium heat and keep stirring until the sugar is dissolved. I let it bubble a bit just to take the edge off the alcohol. Set it aside for later. Let's prepare the strawberries now. I have about 250 grams of strawberries and I've divided them so the nicely shaped ones will go on top of my cake and the wonky ones will go in the middle. So cut off the stems and place them on a paper towel. This helps absorb any excess liquid. Make sure your strawberries are washed and dried. We don't want water mixing in with the whipped cream. The ones that go in the middle are gonna be finely sliced like this. You can make them thicker or thinner if you prefer, it's up to you. So that's done. Now we're gonna make the cream next. We're almost ready to put the cake together. For the cream, you will need 300 grams of heavy cream, three tablespoons of powdered sugar, and a few drops of vanilla extract. Make sure you keep the cream in the fridge right up until you plan to use it. You want it as cold as possible before whipping some people even put it in the freezer for 5-10 to 10 minutes just so it's extra cold. I've added ice to a large bowl and I'm gonna sit my mixing bowl on top like this. The ice will keep it nice and cold without touching it directly. So add everything to the bowl and whisk until it gets peaks. You just want it to be just thick enough so that it's spreadable. This is a good thickness, you can whisk a little more later if you decide it's not enough. Finally, it's time to assemble the cake. First, let's peel the paper.
Cut off the top, you can eat these parts as a taste test. Then we cut it through the middle. I want to make sure it's straight so I'm using this piece of wood here. It works pretty well. Next I've got a paper plate. Icing cakes is kind of messy and I don't have the rotating cake board. So I just use a paper plate so I can turn it easily. So take one half of your sponge and brush on the syrup. Be quite generous, it's all gonna soak up. Add a layer of cream next. Just put it in the middle and then spread it out to the edges. Next is layer of sliced strawberries. It doesn't need to be too neat. Then another layer of cream. Again, start in the middle and kind of spread it out. Now place the other one on top and brush the syrup over the top. You might have a bit of syrup left over but that's okay you don't need to use all of it. Now we're gonna make a crumb coat. This is a base layer of cream. It's a bit thinner and it catches the cake crumbs so that they don't end up in the final topping. Try and make it as smooth as you can but I'm also not great at this. Once that's done, whisk the remaining cream one more time to make it a bit thicker but not too much. Add plenty to the middle and just spread it out. Cover the edges too and just make sure everything is covered. Once you're happy, you can smooth it out properly. I usually try to smooth the edges first and then the top of the cake last. It works best if you have a spatula or a scraper but you can also use a knife if you don't have one. Once you're happy with the finish, put the leftover cream into piping bag. I'm using a star nozzle and piping swirls. I'm making a border around the edges of the cake and then I'll put my strawberries in the middle. You can decorate however you like. There are so many beautiful Christmas cake ideas out there. You can look online for inspiration. It's quite easy to make strawberry shortcake look elegant. I have a few little Christmas decorations too and this chocolate plaque. You could even use Christmas ornaments or try making them yourself. A few mint leaves for some extra green. And it's done. Perfectly fluffy Japanese Christmas cake. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more information about this recipe, check out our website. The link is in the description. If you like Japanese recipes, please subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and Merry Christmas.